We are live from the Spira Clinic for our second bell ringing of the day. Yeah. Robert, you're done. Yes. You're going home. Yes. Can't wait to get to my bed. And you came in with adhesive arachnoiditis, for which also there is no cure besides management. Uh, it's how on its own. And then on top of that, you have complex regional pain syndrome. Tell me a little bit how long you were sick for. 27 years. Started a minute. In 1994. And um, what are some of the big things you tried? Oh my goodness. We named it, we tried it. We did a lot of things right, we did a lot of things wrong. And after we got here, put all the pieces together and we totally get it now. I, for, as far as the CRPS, we did lots of cryo therapy, freezing. Laser, freeze, 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 freeze myself to death so I couldn't take it anymore. Uh, everything. I can't even think what else. I did so many different injections and this treatment and that treatment. I can't even remember the names of some of them. Um, a lot of them are some of the newest ones out that people swear by and all it did is make me feel backwards. And I talked to Anna and she's like, that's actually what's making me worse. That's not helping you. I said, because I'm like a crazed cat. I was like, I don't know which one, but I was like, I'm insane. And the guy swore that he had helped all these people. I'd gone through so many different things. It was crazy. So. Uh, your husband's phone me where I would get him up here because he's been by your side. Talk about Romeo and Juliet. And you are not very nice to him some days. I wasn't nice to him most days. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that, but you you came off of frighteningly high levels of pain medications. Yes. Yes. Um, that could literally drop an elephant. Yes, and, and so it you, drop the elephant. <laughs> so you had to go through that withdrawal as well? That was the worst part. That was worse than CRPS. That was worse than it. That was worse than anything. That was the worst part of all of it. I want to get your therapist up here. Caleb, it's a big day for you, my friend. Yeah. I know you guys fought sometimes in there. He's got big shoulders. Yeah, yeah, we did. I guess I have to talk again, huh? Okay, this Your one's- favorite thing. Yeah. Okay, so Robin was challenging in another way. Um, I think that of all the people I've worked with here, I had to call on skills I learned and through a career in the military with Robin. <laughs> there were times where Robin would call me everything but a human being. And she would come in and tell me she hated me and she didn't want to work today. We're going to take it easy today. And, you know, with some patients I'll tell you, yeah, maybe we'll take it a little easy today and, and, then, and then we don't. But with Robin, I just look her dead in the face and say, no, we ain't taking it, it easy today. You're, you're going to get to work. I knew it was coming. And I would just remind her, you know, hey, don't quit. And that's all I would tell her. I'd say, don't quit, don't quit on me, Robin. Don't you ever quit on me, and she never did. Um, talking about the withdrawals, that was rough. Um, seeing her like that was really painful for me because it went from like this, she was at this like pretend high, feeling great, and then she started to get off of her meds and, and she went straight back to just, I hate you and I hate this and this isn't working. and. And, and, and you're never gonna fix me and, and F you and, and I hate everybody and I'm just gonna go home and I'm gonna, and then and, and, and she came in one day and she's just like, my brain itches. I need my brain scratched. So I scratched her brain and for a little while we scratched her brain and pretty soon she came in smiling and clear eyed and there was like this spark of life back in her, her and her and her husband were joking together and hugging each other and happy and. And Robin, that, that was when Robin was well, and I could. There was nothing left for me to do for her. She's been out of my treatment room for a couple weeks now, but um, I, I am so, so very proud of you. I'm have done it without you. Thank you. Do you have anything else you want to say before you ring that bell? Well, I want to thank everybody here. I mean, because I think a little bit of everybody helped me in every kind of way. Even if I didn't physically see you, you guys were telling somebody to try something or whatever. And, uh, I have I don't know, so much to say, but nothing to say. You'll think of it later tonight. Yes. Are you ready to ring? Yes. <laughs>